and welcome to another episode of the Mission TV show. And this is um, what's so special about this episode is this is part of the series where we're actually broadcasting or recording live here on the exhibit hall floor of the general conference that's going on right now. Right now they're at lunch. A lot of people are wandering around looking at different booths, all the different ministries. There's over 350 booths here at the general conference and it's just really exciting. Wish you could be here. But the benefit of being here is that we meet amazing people we've never met before that are doing amazing things for God's work. And one of those amazing people that I'm just so happy to meet is Pastor Ron Cook, mm -hmm. who uh, is just recently retired right. and busier mm -hmm. than ever. Busier than ever. <laughs> I am. I thought you were supposed to relax when you retire. That's what they told me, but it's not working out that way. <laughs> True pastors never retire. No, 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 we don't retire. And uh, what keeps you going? Why do you stay so busy? What is it that's... Well, the main thing that keeps me busy is uh, we take... Uh, people, doctors and nurses and lay people to Guatemala. We work with the Mayans up in the mountains. Mayans? Well, and Mayans. They still exist? They st oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And we give them free medical, uh -huh. free dental uh -huh. aid. And we also feed uh, folks who live in the dump. Uh, they come and live there and eat there. Wow. The children fight the pigs to eat f fine food at the dump. And uh, so we're They're just fighting the pigs for yes. the food that the pigs are trying to eat. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, the pigs get the food first because they're fat and they're owned by a landowner. So they don't really fight and they just wait till the pigs finish. And then the kids will be able to crawl around and find some food. Yeah. So that's so, so we're ministering to all of the above. So that's why you're busy still. I just, you know, I would like to be re really, really, really retired, <laughs> but uh, I can't sleep at night sometimes. I just see the faces of all these boys and girls. We actually, there are actually 90,000 people in this area. They're not just Mayans, but primarily Mayans, but Latino Mayans and Latinos. Uh -huh. And um, uh -huh. the fields are white for harvest. So. Wow. So um, you take these uh, doctors and, and you take churches down there and everything? I do. And uh, schools. We want schools to come down with us. Mm -hmm. That's a fantastic place because it's right. not that far. No. And it's it's uh, low cost to get there compared to other mission fields. Absolutely. Yeah. I, right. I, 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 take, I try to take groups to Thailand and India. And sure. That's very expensive. Right. So for a short-term trip, this is perfect. Yeah, we are we are blessed. Uh, yes. You know, Guatemala is not that far away. Right. You can almost drive there, right? Yes, you could <laughs> almost. <laughs> if you don't mind driving through Mexico and other countries, that's fine. Sure. But least, yes. Yeah. Right. So then, um, how do people get involved with uh, a mission trip then, if they mm -hmm. want to go with you? Sure. Well, we, they can go online and okay. they can uh, see uh, what we do. Uh -huh. uh, they can also send us an email or write me a letter. Okay. And uh, it's it's right here in our brochure. Okay. Uh, they can Google "Broken Chains for Humanity." Okay. Uh, and um, it's the there website we have our is website is BC4 four, number four uh -huh. humanity. Dot com. That's correct. So bc4humanity.com. Right. Okay. Now, it um, looks like you've got some pictures here of... I do. I do. Yeah. This, is, uh, the, this is the way that people live at the dump. Uh, there's a lot of malnutrition in Guatemala, and so a lot of people do not have food. So more and more people are moving to the dump, and they are uh, just living there in extreme poverty. Wow. and trying to find food to eat. They also sell plastic at the dump, okay. and that helps uh, keep them going. It's recycling. Um, but uh, it, every time I take a group down, when they pick up their cameras to take pictures, they can't. They start crying. I mean, even the hardest, uh, the most macho guy we take down, they start crying because to see, and I'll show you the next picture here, this is just a little picture. I to see boys and girls who s struggle to to try to find food. It's just, uh, it's just really You're touching. so cute. Yeah. Just normal kids. Normal kids, so, sometimes uh, very dirty and very hungry. One time in this area, we, 11 boys and girls died of malnutrition when we had a drought. So uh, we, do, we don't realize how bad off they have it. Wow, amazing. And this is one of your uh, mission groups, uh, church groups? This that you is took? one of our mission groups I took down from, uh, from Washington. Uh -huh. uh, but the reason why this picture is significant is because um, what happened two years ago, I took uh, a group down with us and we prayed every day, Lord, give us a permanent place that so we can do something permanently oh. instead of going and coming. Yeah. You know? So uh, a man came to us, not of our faith, 
and he said, I would like to give you 18 acres of land. I've mm -hmm. heard of your good work. And so we now plan to build a hospital, a clinic uh, for the people. We have an ambulance to help the Mayans up in the mountains who are sick. And also uh, we're building a cafeteria. Uh, so the dump that is five minutes away, mm -hmm. five minutes away from our land can wow. have hot meals every day. Praise the Lord, yeah, praise right, the Lord. Right. So how can people help again? I mean, are you looking for donations? We are or? definitely looking for donations. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> they can go online okay. and they can donate there. We'd love to have donations. We are 501c3. Excellent. We're a nonprofit. Excellent. Uh, we always send out receipts and you can use that as tax deductible. Uh -huh. And uh, Or they can sign up if they want to just uh, sign up and we'll send them a, a, a newsletter. It's called okay. Guatemala Connections. I send out, they can find out what's going on. Great. Or they can join us on a trip. Yeah. Right now, we're only doing one trip a year, but our, our plan is to do at least four trips, at least four trips a year. Wow. And in this area, I actually have uh, five Adventist doctors that are going to help us. Wonderful. And uh, we have a, ours is an American nonprofit, mm -hmm. and we're starting a Guatemalan nonprofit Wonderful. as well. Wonderful. Excellent. Okay, so um, what time is, or when is the next trip then? Well, we are planning tentatively for March, okay. next March. All right. Right. If not, it will be in the, in the fall of next year. And on that trip, are you planning to build anything? Or are you doing an evangelistic series or what are you planning to do? Well, uh, we hope to do both of the above because uh, two years ago we went in and we built uh, a Sabbath school building uh -huh. uh, two years ago. And this year we used that Sabbath school building for one of our clinics. We want to have outside clinics around our big clinic. And okay. so, yeah, we'll All probably right. be building and also doing medical work as well. Okay, so a, a non-medical person, could they come and, and be part of this trip? Oh, absolutely. I'm a non-medical person all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, last time we took 32 people yeah. And I, I kind of, you know, you wonder, how can I find a job for everybody? Yeah. And yet when we get there, there's always something somebody can do. Wow. You know, the Lord always opens it up. And by yeah. the way, you've, you've gone on mission trips. I have taken mission trips. I, I was a director in the Marshall Islands. I've been in New Guinea. I've been, I've been at this work for a while. Wow. I've never known anybody who really wanted to go, uh -huh. who didn't come up with the funds. Right. You know, some way, some somehow, the Lord will open the doors. Yes. So even if you feel like you can't go because you're not, you don't have the money. Right. God will provide a way. God will provide a way. And we have a form letter to send out to your family and friends. Uh -huh. And uh, like I said, I've, ne I've never seen anybody not come. Praise the Lord. Not one. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Okay, so again, bc4humanity.com. Uh -huh. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And there you can get, uh, you can sign up for the newsletter. Right. You can make a donation. That's correct. And you can learn more about this trip and you can right. connect with you. Yes. And you can be part of this amazing ministry. That is correct. So do you have an appeal that you would like to uh, appeal to the uh, audience? Sure, sure. I just like to say that uh, you know the, there are so many mission fields, and the Lord needs people all over. God calls us to different places, uh, but we feel the need to go to the Mayans and Guatemala. Uh, all of us are volunteers, and we'd love to have you come. And of course, we'd love to have you to uh, to partner with us to give donations, so that this incredible work uh, can can expand and grow. All I know is is that I just keep seeing so so many miracles. In fact, I even pray at night. I say, Lord, I, I just can't keep up with this, you know. So we're going to expand and we're looking for more personnel to make it a, a permanent a program here in America. So you're looking for personnel here in America also? Oh, yeah. I'm looking like I need a, 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 bookkeeper. a PR person and, oh. you know, because we're kind of, a, in a way, a baby, uh, <laughs> you know, mission just starting out. Yeah. But uh, we've, the Lord has blessed us. We have evangelism every night. And so uh, we have a lot of folks that have been baptized, mm -hmm. but we work with the pastors, we work with the church people and the local doctors. We are 100% Seventh-day Adventist, mm -hmm. and we, we, we do what we can to uplift the pastors mm -hmm. and the people and the work there. Mm -hmm. We work hand in hand. In fact, uh, when we land in Guatemala, we're met with, by the local people from, the, from our churches in the area. Mm, excellent, yeah. wonderful. So it's just a great work, I love it. And uh, I just feel this is what I want to do until Jesus comes. So, and then, uh, you know, not only will you enjoy this mission trip. Oh, yes. But uh, you're, you're actually putting, you're putting uh, treasure into heaven. Well, that's where my treasure is. <laughs> right, yeah. That's where yeah. definitely my treasure is. Yeah. yeah. So and, not um, only you 
helping this set setup, especially the permanent location. Right. You'll help. You'll help this pastor uh, sleep better at night. Yes, please help me sleep better at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because my heart goes out to these people. You know, I have pictures of the children in my office, and uh, you don't. You, it's it's kind of hidden because they might eat like a tortilla a day, maybe. You know, and the eleven children died in this area. Did I tell you this already? Okay, yeah. malnourishment in yeah, one year. One year. And it's just um, the the needs are so great. In many ways, uh, it's kind of the unknown part of the world that people don't even think about. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's something I was thinking about the other day. That they say that 16,000 kids die every y day from malnutrition. Wow. But I don't know any of them. Uh -huh. And here, you know, you oh, know yes. a location where right. this is actually happening. Right. Absolutely. So we could actually do something about it. Yes, please. That's yeah. awesome. Can I, I don't know how much yes. time I have. Go ahead. Okay. But uh, I'll tell you how we got started. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was a pastor in Antioch, California, in the Bay Area. And, uh -huh. uh, and uh, I've been a missionary uh, overseas. And some girl, one of my church members, came to me. And she said, Pastor, you were a missionary. Why aren't we doing mission trips now? And I said, you're right. I said, where <laughs> should we go? And she had just recently become an American citizen from Guatemala. She says, well, let's go to Guatemala. She said, I have some relatives that I haven't contacted in years up in the mountains. I'll call them. So she called them. And when she called them, uh, she reached her uh, a long lost aunt and uncle. And they said that they had been praying that God would send missionaries to their region because the fields are white for harvest and the needs are tremendous. In fact, uh, around their hacienda, they have built uh, seven large rooms for missionaries to come down and stay, really? all in faith that God would send them missionaries. And so we got on our knees and prayed. Uh, I appealed to my church in Antioch and uh, we went the next year. Wow. Now we and take stayed folks. in those buildings. Yes, the we did for about three or four years. And then now we're in a hotel because we've yeah, you know, we, we take so many people down now. <laughs> yeah, 32 people in <laughs> yeah, seven rooms. We have to have a hotel. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, but the hotel's nice. Uh, the food is fantastic, and we're blessed. Yeah. So blessed. Lord. Yeah, thank you. That's so exciting. So, do you you uh, you you want to go back to a regular job now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I told my now I'm attending the Orangeville Church, and I told the pastor there I'd be glad to visit people, or I preach there, or help. But my heart, of course, is in Guatemala. That's my regular job. Yeah. Yeah. My treasure, you know, I get or in heaven, as in, is in heaven, as you mentioned, you know. Crazy. But I'm full time at home working, planning, as you know, for these trips, working with people, calling people, accepting donations, sending out receipts. So, yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. So you can see uh, the impact that a retired pastor is having. <laughs> right. uh, the, Right. And so, um, again, bc4humanity.com. Right. Uh, uh, go to the website and um, see some more of these pictures. Right. Uh, connect up with their newsletter and get involved. This is a fantastic ministry, and I'm so thankful that I was able to be here on the showroom floor, the exhibit hall floor, and meet uh, Pastor Ron Cook. And uh, so contact him, get involved. Let's make this happen. That is Thank you so much, John, for letting me come. It's, it's my pleasure. And if anybody wants me to fly to their church and give a mission story or a sermon or a series, I'm retired. No, I'm retread. Retread. So <laughs> here I am. <laughs> and if they do, make sure that they record it because Mission TV can always use uh, mission sermons. The truth okay. is that it's hard to find mission sermons from Adventist preachers. Really? Okay. Very hard. No kidding. <laughs> Very hard. So please send us your mission sermons. Yes. All right. God bless and thank you so much for joining us here on the Mission TV show.